Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Cathedral of St. Patrick. Today is Wednesday of the 18th week in ordinary time, memorial of St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, Virgin Martyr. Our celebrant today is Bishop Whalen. This mass is offered for Margaret Ehrenfeld Dithmer. Please join in singing, All People That On Earth Do Dwell, number 418 in the Blue St. Michael Hymnal. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. With your spirit. As we come together on this memorial of St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, Edith Stein, who was martyred for our shared Judeo-Christian faith, we ask for the grace to live our faith in courage and truth. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. life. Amen. Let us pray. God of our fathers, who brought the martyr St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross to know your crucified Son and to imitate him even until death, grant through her intercession that the whole human race may acknowledge Christ as its Savior and through him come to behold you for eternity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Paran, send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel you shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, <clears throat> all of them princes. <clears throat> After reconnoitering the land for 40 days, they returned, met Moses and Aaron, and the whole congregation of the children of Israel in the desert of Paran at Kadesh, made a report to them all, and showed the fruit of the country to the whole congregation. They told Moses, we went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey, and here is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, mm -hmm. and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Anakin there. Amalekites live in the region of the Negev. Hittites, Jebusites, and Amarudis dwell in the highlands and Canaanites along the sea coast and the banks of the Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people toward Moses said, we ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. But the men who had, who had gone up to him said, we cannot attack these people, they are too strong for us. So they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel about the land they had scouted, saying, the land that we explored is a country that consumes its inhabitants. And all the people we saw there are huge, veritable giants. The Anakin were a race of giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, so we must have seemed to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even in the night, people wailed. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, how long will this wicked assembly grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel against me. Tell them, by my life, says the Lord, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. 
Here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spent in scouting the land. Forty years you, you shall suffer for your crimes. One year for each day. Thus you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to do this. To all this wicked assembly that conspires against me, here in the desert, they shall die to the last man. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember, <clears throat> remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have sinned, we and our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember, remember us, us, O Lord, Lord as, you as you favor your people. But soon they forgot his works. They waited not mm -hmm. for his counsel. They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember, remember us, Lord, as, o Lord, as you favor your people. Your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, Lord, as you favor your people. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. Jesus said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came, did him homage, and said, Lord, help me. Jesus said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their master. Then Jesus said to her in reply, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. We all know the great phrase, the glass is not half full, it's always half empty. And we all know too many people for whom it's not only half empty, but it's also leaking. And that helps us to understand what these strange, seemingly strange, readings are all about, especially this morning. We've been working through with this part of the Old Testament where the Hebrew people are coming into the promised land. And for, we have to remember that one of the covenant promises is the land, not so much for the real estate. It's because God lives among us. It's an incarnate faith lived in the reality of our landed, if you will, lives. They come to the promised land, and rather than seeing the glass half full, they're starting to complain about all the problems they find there in the midst of everything else. Sound familiar? For us, it's a challenge and a call to remember that our shared Judeo-Christian faith, for which St. Teresa Benedictor of the Cross, a convert, a philosopher, woman, 
Jewish convert to Christianity, to Catholicism, became a Carmelite sister and was martyred by the Nazis in their hatred of the faith, our shared faith, that in this her feast day, we're called to remember that we encounter Jesus like that woman, and we encounter Jesus in that woman, in the people who are somewhat out there, in the people who, from whom we do not expect to hear his message. And we're called to be that for them, be him for them. That only happens if we don't look at the glass half empty, if we don't focus on the obstacles, but do what in our great Jewish Judeo-Christian heritage we're good at, figuring it out, make it work, get around the obstacle, and live with a God who walks with us. We stand and bring our needs to Almighty God. We pray for the church, God's people, that we may be willing to let our faith come alive in the reality of our lives. We pray to the Lord. Good, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Archbishop, Cardinal Dolan, for all who lead, guide, and serve in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who need our prayers, those who rely on our prayers, and those who have no one to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the silence of our hearts, we add our own needs. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for Margaret Arnfeld Dithma, for whom this Mass is offered, for all our beloved dead, and for all those who have died alone and forgotten. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for the example of St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. Help us to let our faith come alive amidst all the evil of our world. Hear our needs and answer them if they are in accord with your will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it shall become our spiritual drink. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice, yours and mine, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Christ at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for all good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, Win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Teresa Benedicta, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow the strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly here on earth and before your majesty, we acclaim without end.
indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them now into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We bring that peace to one another.
the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing Soul of My Savior, which is number 759 in the blue St. Michael hymnal, number 759. The body of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Blessed Teresa Benedicta of the Cross a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, that through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing Take Up Thy Cross, number 770, in the same blue St. Michael hymnal. 